Welcome back to Helen Nigeria. We're joined by two guests who have a fantastic project they're working on. We're looking at community development through empowering of beggars. We see these beggars on the streets, but there's little or much that is thought about them. People only remember them once in a while. But what exactly can we do to empower them and make their lives better? They said that he wishes where horses beggars will ride. We're joined by two guests today. On my immediate right, I have a compassionate leader, transformational speaker, Grant strategist, author, and social entrepreneur, and his name is Noel Astonish. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And on my extreme right, I have Agogo Akborido, who is who holds a degree in agricultural economics from Delta State University and an MBA from Lagos Business School, Pan Atlantic University. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. All right. So there are so many projects, you know, on since I've been doing this, I've interviewed all sorts of people, people who do all sorts of community projects, but never have I interviewed someone who has decided that they want to work with beggars. So why did you particularly choose beggars? Well, it's it's not a personal vision, so to speak. Um, it's something ordained by God. You know, one day I, I was walking on the bridge and um, I saw... Actually, then Lagos Bridge were not in good condition. They were made of steel. I don't know if you remember back um, some years back. And um, I was scared for my life because it was not in a good state. And um, I saw, as I walked through the bridge, it was even raining. I saw people on that bridge, and um, they were begging. The question on my mind was, aren't they afraid for their life? What if this bridge collapses now? And my spirit told me, they don't care. Because remember Abraham Maslow, Maslow um, 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 Abraham Maslow hierarchy of needs. You know that um, people start from the bottom and they climb up from physiological needs, things that are basic like food, shelter, shelter. You know all those things. If they don't have this, they can't even think of self self actualization. And so, fast forward ten years after last year, we launched um, Build Foundation that we're using to empower them on the street. Brilliant. Tell us about you know, this foundation and what, what sort of empowerment you give to beggars. Because some people say that a beggar's hand is like a bottomless pit, that the moment <laughs> you give them, you have to keep giving them because they're used to a certain lifestyle of begging. And it's almost impossible to take them away from that lifestyle. You know? So tell us what projects you're working on to assist these beggars. OK. When we started, we, we did a little kind of research, a feed research, and uh, because it, it is very important that you understand who you are helping before you provide such uh, whatever help or intervention that you are giving to them. And so we, we, through that research, we're able to discover a lot of things. Some of our assumption about these beggars, we are, we are kind of corrected because <coughs> we are having some wrong assumption concerning them. And that prepared us to be able to help them strategically so that we'll be able to address their pain uh, uh, points. So last year, we, we did a program for these beggars. And we, in that event, we invited a lot of them. But some of them were still skeptical to come for that event because uh, prior to now, they have had a lot of challenges with uh, uh, arrest because it is uh, unlawful to beg on the streets. And so they were skeptical and thinking that, uh, hope these are not government officials trying to just rope us in, kind of. But uh, they came for the event, and to their surprise, uh, it was genuine. So we provided them with uh, medical care. Uh, we, we gave them clothing, uh, food, and we also brought a, a psychologist uh, to, to talk to them because most of them have taken begging as a way of life. And so they, they needed to talk with a psychologist. And at the end of the program, we, we selected some people who we are going to, uh, who we trained for capacity uh, development. Because, y y like y you will know, if begging, to, to eradicate begging, it's not just giving them money or food, you have to empower them so that they can be independent on themselves. Fantastic, which is what we say a lot of the time, that exactly. are supposed to just constantly give them one fish, yeah. to teach them how to fish how for to themselves. Fish which is why I want to ask you, we know that this, it's legal to make you know, in Nigeria, it's and legal, yeah. we find, I, I want to find out, since you, you're in this space, is the government doing anything for these beggars to make their lives a lot easier? Well, I was sharing this um, project with a family friend who happened to be a lawyer, 
and it said that Lagos State actually started something around this um, sometimes back when the, the, the state was accused of having so many beggars around the state. And so they, somewhere around the booty meta, you know, they build this facility and they, they give them shelter and sometimes feeding. But at some point they realized it, it wasn't sustainable. The man brought that up when he heard what we have in plan for them. So our first stage is to admit them. The second stage is to give them shelter. Third stage is to rehabilitate them, you know, to work on their mind because these people have been through a lot of things, trauma, um, they literally don't trust anybody. So we, we help them realize that they too can become somebody great in life. After that, we help them acquire skills. While they are going through all of this, they are still within the shelter we've provided for them. And um, by the time they, they've acquired the skill, we give them soft loans, you know, which they collect and they can be able to pay back later. This way, they, they, it is easier for them to be integrated back into the society as <coughs> self-sufficient individuals you know, not longer a burden to the society. Brilliant. Yeah. Agogo, how would you say that this whole experience has changed your life as a person? Uh, in fact, it, it made me uh, begin to appreciate a lot of things about myself because I, sometimes when I'm helping them, I, I, would, I would tell myself, this could have been me uh, actually begging in the, in, the, in the street. But thank God I'm not there. But it now, uh, the responsibility is now on me to uh, do the best that I can to see that uh, we help as many as possible. But you will agree with me that this task is beyond any individual or even organization. However, we can't continue to wait for the government organization. We, we need to do what we can do in our own space. Maybe uh, as time goes on, uh, people will begin to see the value of actually uh, supporting these people and taking them out of that uh, lifestyle. I think that's a laudable project you're working on. I'm yeah. hoping that many people can key in and decide to be able to help other people as well with the little that we have. So how can people who are interested in helping, in, who are interested in volunteering their time, their services, their money to what you're doing? Is there a site or you know, yeah. a handle they can follow? Yeah. You can go to empoweringbeggars.org, empoweringbeggars.org, all, all right. English word. Empoweringbeggars.org, empoweringbeggars.org is the website to visit. If you want to be a part of this notable project, you want to give back, you want to make someone's life a little better, and you want you know, to make them smile, you want to make someone's life better. At the end of the day, this life is not fully lived if you haven't tried to make someone smile. So think of one notable project to join today. You know, theirs or anyone, just something that, that will leave your name going long after you're gone. At the end of the day, posterity will thank you for that. Thank you so much for the work that you do. Thank you and so And thank much. you for sharing with us on Hello Nigeria. Thank you. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.